Hi, I'm Jeff Nelson, the Assistant News Director and a news anchor at WWNY-TV in Watertown. We broadcast the news seven days a week to the Tri-County area. That's Jefferson, Lewis, and St. Lawrence counties. We're a small media market, but we have a robust news team. 23 people who are dedicated to telling the North Country's story. I want to take a minute and tell you what you need to know if you were thinking about getting a start in broadcast news. The heart of our operation is our reporting staff. These are the employees that go out every single day and gather the news for us. It's usually one of the entry level jobs in the newsroom. Most of our reporters have four year degrees in broadcast news. If you're looking to become a news reporter, there are a number of skills that you need to master. First, you have to have an excellent grasp of the English language. You have to be a good writer because that's what we do every day. We write news stories. Then there's the technical end. We have to be proficient photographers, news photographers, and we also have to be great at video editing. Add to that the time frame. The news happens every single day, so we're on deadline. We're trying to make the new news, the five o'clock news, the six o'clock news, and beyond. So you have to be able to write quickly, shoot quickly, and edit quickly. It's a fun and fast-paced job. Well, if you grew up in the North Country, you know that our winters can be kind of rough. We get plenty of snow, and oftentimes we go weeks with below zero temperatures. Seven days a week, John Kubis, Beth Hall, and Chris Hudson are dedicated to forecasting the weather to the Tri-County area. Plenty of meteorologists can go to school for four years to earn a science degree. And on top of that, you'll need to learn to broadcast. So there are some broadcast classes you can take. Who doesn't like sports? 7 News also has a sports department, a two-man sports department, Rob Crone, and of course, Mel Bussler. These guys have decades of experience between them, and they take great joy in going out every single day and covering our local teams. If you want to be a sports reporter, it's a lot like being a news reporter. You have to know how to write. You have to be good with a camera and you have to edit. Plus, you have to do all of this under deadline. Broadcast has certainly changed over the last number of decades, but of course we're in the digital age, so an online presence is very important. That's why we have a dedicated web team. We have two full-time web writers and their job is to make sure that all of our stories, the information we gather, get to the internet. That's via our website, www.nytv.com. We also have a free mobile app that can be downloaded via iTunes or Android. Well, as you can see, there are a lot of moving parts to make the news happen, and that's why it's important to have a strong news management team. Our job is to make sure that everything is kind of heading in the right direction. We make sure the communication is flowing between weather and sports and news, and we decide what the stories and the news shows need to look like every single day. So, if you're looking to get a start in broadcast news, you should know you need skills in communication, writing, and some technical skills. I do have to say though, if you decide to get into news, it's totally worth it. Every single day is different, you'll learn a lot, and you'll never be bored. Hi, I'm Becky Murphy and I'm the traffic manager and also national sales assistant for WWNY. The word traffic in a television station has nothing to do with cars. Traffic in TV terms refers to the department that schedules all the programming and commercials that the station airs. We work behind the scenes with all of the departments. The programming department decides what shows will air, then sales department sells commercial time to the clients. Production then builds a spot for the client, and traffic puts all of these elements together in a format that our master control operators can put to air. That is why it's called traffic. We take care of all the information for lots of sources and put all of it together to create a streamline of programming and commercials. These programs and commercials will fill every second of every day. If you are interested in a job at the TV station, the traffic department could be an entry level position. One thing that you would definitely need is attention to detail. We work with a lot of numbers, a lot of codes. It is data entry, but the attention to detail would definitely be a plus. Hi, my name is John Seymour, and I'm the Director of Broadcast Operations here at WWNY TV Channel 7. My day-to-day -day operation more or less oversees three departments. And the three departments that I'm going to talk about 
our master control operation, commercial production, as well as newscast directing. Let's start with master control operator. Every television station has a master control. This room is the main distribution center of a TV station. Satellite signals, digital media, and live programming all run through the control room. Every show or commercial runs on a tight time schedule through a playlist. Everything is timed to the second. That's right, to the second, and needs to air when scheduled. Working in this room, you must be very detailed oriented, be able to troubleshoot equipment malfunctions, and prepare programming for future playback. It's important to multitask and possess the necessary technical skills to interface with a variety of computer systems and be ready to learn new software programs because technology is always changing. Let's now discuss commercial producer. The main function of a commercial producer is to oversee the creation of a television commercial from inception to broadcast. Commercial producers usually have a broad understanding of marketing, writing, creative design, video photography, and nonlinear editing. Television directors are media professionals who oversee the technical aspects of a live newscast. They are responsible for studio setup, lighting, camera placement, and sometimes troubleshooting equipment. The nature of live directing can be stressful and challenging, but also very rewarding. If you want to get your foot in the door at WWNY TV or another television station, it's very important to stay on top of various digital media platforms and technologies. I'm Samantha Robbins and I'm the local sales manager here. I'm Eric Krabs, I'm the vice president and general manager of Channel 7. An account executive is an individual who is our representative of our station who interacts with local businesses and regional and national businesses as well. Their primary goal is to listen to business owners and develop relationships and find out what their marketing needs are. I oversee a team of account executives and their primary responsibilities are to forge a relationship with local businesses and work with them closely to understand all aspects of their business and to come up with creative ideas to help their business grow. From that, they take that information and they present to them a series of plans that help market their product run on our television station. And the ultimate goal of that is to have them increase their business and do more business with us as a television station. As you know, our services are free. You can pick us up over the air. The people who help us underwrite these services that we offer are our local advertisers. They make it possible. One of the things that I most enjoy about sales is being able to entertain your clients, to take them out to lunch, to learn all about them, learn their family, learn the ins and outs of their business. And that's how you are able to most effectively help by just getting to know the client and their business. One of the reasons it would be beneficial for somebody who wants to get into show business, so to speak, or into television as a career, but do not want to have the uh, frantic schedule of a news reporter or a news anchor and that may be a little bit shy of being in front of the camera, one of the ways that you can do that and be a part of this business is in sales. If we were hiring someone in sales, we would be looking for someone who is definitely ambitious, who's not afraid to get out there and knock on doors, and also not afraid to hear no. In this job, you hear no on a daily basis, and you just have to pick yourself back up and get back out there and move on to the next client. You essentially are your own boss. You know, you're out there on the streets with your clients during the day. Being disciplined is very important, but you also get to enjoy being in and out of the building. You're not just stuck at a desk, and that's something that I enjoy the most about sales. Working here, it's not just about TV. I mean, it's such a bigger picture. There's digital aspects now. I mean, we're able to put commercials on YouTube, and so not only do we have the TV aspect of it, but to be able to reach somebody in Hong Kong. Yeah. Actually, we now have the ability to do that. It's uh, such a growing industry. Yeah, yeah, it's a growing industry for yeah. sure. I'm Jim Felton, the Chief Engineer here at Channel 7. In the next few minutes, we're going to try and show you what a broadcast engineer does and some of the equipment that we use to do it. Enjoy the montage. We'll talk to you later. So what do we need for education to become a broadcast engineer? You might guess you need a degree in computer science. That would help, but it's only a start. 
You also need to be able to fix all the equipment that you use to create the systems. So you need to be an electronic engineer. You also need to be able to provide power to all the equipment. So you need to be an electrician. Oh, and remember the building of sets in the studio? Well, guess what? You need to be a carpenter too. Plus, you have to be an RF engineer, a network engineer, a mechanical engineer, and have the ability to manage the day-to-day -day maintenance of all the systems while never failing to keep the commitment to the viewer. After all, when you watch a TV show, you don't think about what it took to get that show to your TV. You just enjoy the show. So, if you think you're the kind of person that can find a solution nobody else can, have a good understanding of electronics, networking, and mechanical aptitude, you might be the right person to become a broadcast engineer. Now that you've seen what a broadcast engineer does, let's talk about the really exciting parts of it. Here at Channel 7, we've been lucky that the ownership allowed us to look into the future and build products that nobody else had. The crowning jewel is you can develop and be a world-renowned engineer from a tiny little station.